In the book Meditations, Marcus Aurelius says, do not busy yourself with trifling things. Welcome back to the 69 Pillars of Success, friends. This rewiring of our mind by steadily, day by day, consuming content that helps shift your mindset from a state of negativity to a state of resourcefulness, power, and strength to help you live prosperous spiritually, physically, financially, and emotionally. That's what this is all about. It's all about changing what's going on between your ears. You know, I was talking to my neighbor who was an MMA, martial arts, and boxing coach. He was talking about this woman he was training who, who just couldn't get her form down to get her yellow belt. She would complain and complain and complain. And so his solution was stop training her. And, it, and this was in New York. He sends her to this this block in New York where it's a, it's a home for the blind. He's like, when you get there, watch people that have real struggles, like walking with canes trying to get around, and they still figure it out. And he was basically trying to teach her, you have no physical problem that's preventing you from achieving. What's preventing you from achieving is going on between your two ears, and that's what this program is about, is about changing the wiring that's in between your two ears, because chances are, if you're anything like me, the wiring between your ears has been off at times and kept you from the prosperity that you deserve, okay? If you're not like me and you're perfect and awesome, God bless you. Probably don't need to be watching this. That said, Marcus Aurelius says something that really is near and dear to my heart because obviously I come from a military family and I have a military background and everything you learn in that warrior culture is concepts that focus on everything you do everything you do has a purpose behind it and if there is no purpose for it you stop doing it now for my more obsessive types let's grain of salt that okay like the way you unlock your door when you go into your house doesn't need to have a specific purpose we don't need to get that crazy with it but when you get up every day and you start taking action start taking inventory and this is the practical part of today's lesson we can, we're going to be real practical with this one this idea of doing things that have a purpose when you wake up today tomorrow whenever you're watching this take inventory of all the actions you take throughout the day you know in the big like you don't need to write down i brush my teeth because that uh, that has an obvious purpose right but like what did you do at work what did you do in your spare time right how much rest did you get and when you make that list, start looking at, okay, all these things that I did in my personal time, how many of them actually had a purpose, right? So one of the things that I work with my son on is he loves to watch what I call stupid YouTube videos. And by stupid, I don't mean the creators are stupid. I mean, the content is just kind of mindless. It's people just being, it's people being stupid for the purpose of making people laugh. And I said, you know, my son's trying to earn money. He's working to earn money to you know have things that he wants like right now he wants to buy a PlayStation 4 and so he's, he's working to earn money and I gave him a business model for how to do that I said if you execute on the business model I gave you 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 can earn up to a thousand bucks a month and that's you know as, as a young dude that's a ton of money I said you can totally do it if you if you follow the steps that I showed you you will make a thousand bucks a month in fact I should probably make a video about it some point here to help all of you who want to make an extra thousand bucks a month and he's been dragging his feet and you know making excuses for why he's not doing it and then he's going to watch these silly youtube videos and i said how much time did you spend watching youtube videos today oh you know sitting around i said how much time did you spend working your business oh yeah i haven't done that since thursday i said okay so you told me that you want hundreds of dollars to buy a thing that you care about but your actions do not support your desires. You're not doing things that have a purpose. Now, to say that the silly videos he watch, watches have zero purpose is probably not accurate. I think there is a time and a place to relax, not work, not be doing something that has some grander life purpose, but sometimes relaxing is necessary, and there's a purpose to relaxing. It's recharging, and it's letting your mind just oh, I don't need to be thinking about quantum physics or trying to save the world right now I'm just gonna laugh at people being silly I think that has a place the problem that I think with the world and what Marcus Aurelius was getting at was 
we reverse it. He'll spend 90% of his time watching those silly videos and 10%, and by time I mean like in a week, he'll spend 90% of his free time watching silly videos or playing a video game, and he'll spend 10% of his time doing the business. I even gave him a challenge last year. I have some friends that work at Bethesda Softworks. If you're not a video game player, they make some really, really blockbuster, you know, big blockbuster games. Fallout, The Elder Scrolls, you may have heard of some of these games. You may have heard the word Skyrim before. Uh, they make those games. And I have some friends that work there, and I worked out, uh, I kind of asked them to do me a favor. I said, hey, can you guys, at some point, I want to bring my son there on a tour to check out the studio. And they're like, yeah, of course. I said, well, I've given him a challenge. He has to make 100 pieces of art, whether it's a drawing, whether it's a stop motion video, whether it's a Twitch stream, it's an Instagram short, you know, because he does comedy sketches and he's amazing at it. I said, he's got to do 100 of those first before I'll take him. It's been a year. He had 365 days to turn out 100 videos. And couldn't do it, or a hundred things, and he just wouldn't do it. He'd get sidetracked watching silly videos. I'm like, so you, you don't really want to go tour the studio? Like, I want to go tour the studio. He's holding me up, right? And so my friends are like, just keep us posted. I'm like, yeah, I will. If my son, before he turns 90, gets the work done. And so it's, he's doing things with a purpose, but is he? He's it's off. He doesn't understand that. Spend 10% of your time doing the silly YouTube stuff, right? Give yourself five or 10 minutes before you go to bed to laugh and go to sleep. The rest of your free time should be spent building something that matters. And by the way, you should enjoy that time. You don't have to be working on things you don't like. I gave him Twitch streams and art and stop motion videos, all things he's really good at. If you saw my Instagram post yesterday, he did this little, he had this puppet that he kept putting on the screen while I was trying to talk to interrupt me. It was hilarious. Right? And I let him do it because I saw him coming. I'm like, oh God, he's going to heckle me during the video. But I let it happen because I knew it would be funny because uh, he's a funny guy. But everything you do has to have a purpose, right? Within reason, okay? Think about what you're doing throughout the day and map it back to your outcomes. So if you figure if you're in my if you're in my one-on-one -on -one coaching program where I actually get on a a Zoom call with you, it's like the one coaching program that I charge money for, right? Where I get on a Zoom call for 2 hours and I coach. Uh I help people map out their life, their dreams, their goals, okay? What are they? And then I show them the practical ways depending on where they are in the journey, here are the practical things you need to be doing right now today to help you get this done. And you know, the outcome he wants right now, because he's a young guy, he's not thinking about career and all that stuff. He just wants a PlayStation. But his actions don't map to that purpose. And so everything he does, I'm telling him, like, everything you do, if you want this PlayStation bad enough, needs to map to getting this PlayStation. Outside of doing your homework, getting your schoolwork done, doing your chores, taking out the trash, mowing the grass, that type of stuff is just stuff you got to do. Right? The purpose of that is taking care of you and taking care of your family. Just think about all the things you do throughout the day. How much of it has no purpose whatsoever? Like when you're scrolling through Instagram for the ninth time, just trying to find something that catches your eye. What's the purpose of that? Like in that boredom, could you use that time to be doing something else that actually adds value to your life? The 50th picture of the girl in the yoga pants is not going to add any value to your life. It's going to make you physiologically feel good or the guy with the abs. Physiologically, that's going to make you feel something good inside, and that's why Instagram and these platforms are so addictive, right? When we just sit here and we scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll. But instead of going back to Instagram for the ninth time, read one of the books in the 52 Book Challenge that I have, because the books that I'm recommending are actually going to be very helpful for every aspect of your life. You know, the four pillars, spiritual, physical, emotional, and financial. And that's where we focus. And it's so easy to just pull up Instagram and start flipping through it. It's a little bit harder to get the momentum necessary to read one of these hundreds of books that I have on my shelf. And this, like, I haven't even brought all my books up to my office yet. I still have a whole other trough and shelves of books that I got to bring up here. That's why my books, my shelves look a little empty. But just remember, like Marcus really has said, everything you do, make sure it has a purpose. 
don't busy yourself with trifling things like scrolling through Instagram or your Facebook feed. Now, if you're using Instagram and Facebook to get information that's helping you, right? A lot of the content that I produce is on purpose, not entertainment driven. It's, it's, it's more inspirational. It's more educational. It's on purpose because like if people are going to use Instagram, I might as well give them something that's going to add value to their life beyond just, you know, stimulating their, their hormones, right? Think about what you're doing. And then after you take the inventory back to the practical and we'll finish this up. After you take the inventory, figure out, and what I'd like you to do is take that inventory for an entire week. And then start looking at what, what are the patterns? What are the things you're doing every day for hours at a time that it's like when you're complaining about your job and you wish you could have a business, those are hours you could spend researching how to build a business or going through some of my programs where I show you how to do it, right? Free, by the way. You have access to a free program that would show you, one, how to start a personal brand on social media or how to grow a business using social media. You could be using those hours. It's It's... At this point, it's less than 60 hours of content because I've cut some of it. But let's say it's 50 hours of content that's going to show you how to do that. You could do 50 hours of content in a couple of weeks. You just watch an hour a day. It'll take you 50 days to get through it. In 50 days, you'll be smarter. You'll have more information. You'll be able to do more things than you could do if you just triflingly flip through your Instagram or your Snapchat feed. And I'm not saying don't do that. Right? You don't have to be like me. Like I couldn't care less about scrolling through Instagram. Right? A lot of the stuff that goes on in those places is just not enticing to me. I'm not entertained by it. Uh, because in part of it is I have a mission that I'm working on and I'm laser focused on that. But you don't have to be like me. You can still flip through it. Just do it once instead of eight times. Right? Do it once instead of twice. And use that other time to listen to an audio book or listen to a podcast where they're actually showing you and teaching you things that are going to help you get better. Heck, listen to our podcast, The Brian Chambers Movement. Shameless plug. Okay, so that's the deal. Everything you do, make sure it has a purpose. I love you guys much. Remember that we are stronger than I. See you on the next one.